Hello everyone, in this video we are going to uh, learn how to detect double clicks uh, and, as well as clicks on uh, UI objects uh, using scripts. So here I have a cube and uh, when I click on this button it starts uh, rotating. And uh, the way I do this is uh, here in the button I'm basically using the uh, button components of uh, uh, I'm using the onclick event of the button component and uh, there's a script on the cube uh, that has a public void uh, start rotation method that starts uh, the rotation of the cube. Now, uh, I don't want to uh, drag the cube and uh, do all these stuff, so I just remove this event. And now, if you play, uh, you can see that uh, it's not working anymore. You can see that it doesn't start the rotation. So we're going to do it uh, with a script. So here I'm going to create my own uh, button script. So create C# -sharp script, and I'm going to call it um, btn for button. And let's just open it up. So here's the uh, newly created uh, btn script, uh, our own uh, button script. So here I'm going to have a public uh, boolean variable called clicked. So whenever the button is clicked, this is going to be true. So here I'm using uh, the i pointer uh, i pointer click handler, and this is in Unity Engine dot event system. You got to be using that, and we are going to implement this interface. So you have to have this uh, method with this exact uh, type of argument. So here on the on pointer click, I'm going to say clicked is equal to true, and now uh, I can go into my uh, on the script that is attached to the cube, and here I have a reference for the button, uh, btn, and I call it uh, rotate button. And here I can uh, use it in a condition like if uh, rotate button dot clicked, if that is clicked, we are going to start uh, rotation. We call that method. And here, if we uh, add this scripted jar button. So this is my button. Uh, I'm going to use my own uh, script on this. So we don't really need the button uh, components, but we're just going to leave it there. And here on the cube, I'm going to drag my button and the rotate button uh, variable. And now you can see that when I click on this, it starts rotating. But one thing is that uh, the clicked variable here uh, is uh, true. Uh, and it stays true forever. And we don't want that because we want to be able to uh, detect clicks uh, multiple times over and over, not only once. So to solve that, we need to reset the value of clicked after we set it to true. So right after we set it to be true, we want to reset it to be uh, false again. <clears throat> so if I do it in update and I say clicked is false, it's going to make it true and then immediately make it false again and it's not going to be uh, detectable in this uh, other script. So we want to wait for the end of this frame, and then on the next frame, we are going to reset it. So for that, I'm going to use a coroutine. So uh, I'm going to create a private I enumerator, and I'm going to call it reset. And here, uh, we're going to wait for the end of this frame, so yield return new wait for end of frame, and then we are going to reset the value of clicked. So this way we can detect uh, clicks over and over and over. So I'm going to add a little uh, debug here, debug.log, and uh, I'm just going to say click detected. So now here, uh, let's test this. So here in the console, you can see that when I click, uh, okay, it uh, again stays clicked uh, forever because uh, we forgot to uh, actually call this uh, coroutine. So let's just uh, call it after we set click to be true. So start coroutine uh, reset. <clears throat> so now after uh, we uh, detect the click and we set the value to true, we are going to uh, reset it back to false. Let's test it out. 
So here's the button. When I click it, you can see that there is only one message, and the clicked variable is false. And when I do it again, there's two messages. If I let it collapse, you can see that uh, we can click, uh, we can detect multiple uh, clicks without any issues. Now, <clears throat> for the double click, we are going to use uh, the same button script. We're going to add another boolean variable called double clicked. So here, uh, I'm going to use another interface called iPointer down handler, and we're going to implement that. So here's the uh, method, uh, and here, uh, the way I'm going to uh, uh, determine if it's a double click or two clicks with lots of uh, delay in between is actually uh, creating two float variables. So I'm going to create a private uh, float called uh, um, double double click delay, uh, which is equal to uh, 0.5. Uh, just half a second and another float variable for uh, past time uh, since last click. Uh, I don't recommend <laughs> naming your variable like this but I'm just uh, naming it like that to make everything clear. So <coughs> uh, uh, we want to set the past time past time since last click to be zero when we detect a click uh, and in the update, we're going to say past uh, time since last click plus equals to time dot delta time. So as the time goes, uh, uh, the past time since last click increases uh, until we have another click. So here we want to check if uh, if we clicked before uh, this past time um, is actually bigger than half a second. So uh, we say if if past time is less than uh, double click delay which means that uh, we actually clicked again before uh, before half a second passes uh, which means that was a double click we're going to say double click uh, double click equals to true and if not else and uh, the past time is just going to equal to zero <coughs> so um, uh, yeah that's how it works now uh, let's test this out. Uh, so here in the uh, update, we're going to uh, print. Uh, we're going to debug click detected if uh, there is one click detected, a single click, and we're going to say if uh, rotate button dot double clicked. If we detect a double click, we are going to debug dot log uh, double uh, double click detected. So let's test it out. So if I do a single click on that, <clears throat> you can see that it says click detected. But if I do uh, a double click, you see that it says double click detected, but it is uh, it has the same issue as our click. So we have to uh, reset the value of double click as well. So here, when I say double click is equal to true, I'm going to say start coroutine uh, reset. And here in the reset coroutine, I'm also going to reset the double click variable. So this way, uh, the double click value is also going to be resetted, and uh, we can detect it uh, as many times as we want. So here's a single click, here's another single click, and here's a double click, and here's another double click. So uh, that's it, and uh, yeah. You can download the script uh, from the link in the description and uh, make sure you leave a like and drop me a comment, let me know what you thought and what other tutorials you want to see next. And uh, until next time, peace.